Alrighty, yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over, I guess, what games I'm going to be playing or hopefully going to be playing or thinking about playing or whatever besides uh, the mini game one. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what uh, other people, uh, what happens to them after they come back from a convention or something. I just was so pumped that just anything Hex and Can even though... <laughs> I didn't play anything Hex Encounter related. I was just like, God, I just want to go home and play some Hex Encounter games so badly. Yeah, that's why. No, it's just because of the gaming stuff. But uh, so, well, what am I saying? Of course, I played a Hex Encounter one. I played uh, this this one with Rob. And that's hopefully um, uh, we'll continue playing. He seems really pumped about doing it. So that's awesome. Um, the Spence and Gable Tannenberg one. And uh, yeah, I'm, I really want to play it. Um, as my, well, I just want to find out, is is it a really, um, you know, is it a game that doesn't need any tweaking or does it just a little bit to make it shine or whatever? I don't know, because I'd like to, I want to find a game, like I said, uh, I also have The World Undone that way as well. But I want to find one that's just 100%, uh, just like a good afternoon to hang out with a friend and just play um uh, nothing way too taxing. In other words, most of the focus is on strategy and uh, uh, talking amongst each other, you know, that type of stuff. And and not just spending ages, uh, you know, trying to figure out the rules. Like right now, that's where, I mean, a, a significant chunk of it is obviously because we're just learning how to play it. So uh, that's the way, yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it. Hold on. But... This game is going to be in my, um, I'm assuming, uh, well, I want to get it out of my system. Well, I'm not saying I want to get it out of my system. I want to play it, but but I want to get, I want to get to other things. So I'm going to play the uh, Decision Games Tannenberg uh, one upstairs. Um, yeah, I've already played it uh, before, so it's but a while, a while ago. So it'll be, uh, I'll have to go over the rules again, obviously. And, um, yeah, it's partially because, uh, Dirk D was playing it and, uh, yeah, I was kind of like, that just gave me a little bit extra motivation. So I'll be playing it with these wonderful pieces. Hold on. Yeah. These counters are just scanned images. I think I got from some, uh, from on BGG and actually, oddly enough, I accidentally didn't put back one of the original counters. So there's one of the original counters there. And these ones are just ones that, um, so just scanned images uh, that I sent off to um, Steve Larkin at Custom Game Bits, and he made them a lot bigger for me, and they're nice and chunky, and I just love them. I haven't used them yet, so it's going to be great to uh, do that. And then I'm going to still be using um, Meandering Mike's idea of um, trying to get some extra randomization with uh, the dice by just putting a, with my die there by putting an extra one in so I, when I can roll the dice down there. And yeah, I still like this uh, crazy little... Uh, I don't know where it's from, but uh, I just, uh, yeah, I like that. It just gives me like the, this little fate type thing. So yeah, here's the, uh, well, that's that RPG I've just been starting to poke into. Take a look. Which I guess is one of the other games I'll be playing. That's true. Never thought of it that way. But nice big text. Um, I don't know, like I'm going to look into it, but this is it here. And like I said, it uh, uses a modification of the fire movement system. So I'll be playing this, I hope, upstairs. Um, yeah, it's not a super long whatever. I'll keep you, keep you posted. Hold on. All right. This one's going to take a while because I have to make the counters. But some wonderful person on BGG scanned uh, the counters and put images up uh, for download. So I'm like, yep, thank you very much. I'm going to make uh, some counters for this. I've wanted to play this one for quite a while, actually. So uh, I'm really happy. And I didn't clue in until I started reading the rules uh, that it's um, essentially kind of like what I'm playing with the mini game with Dervel Creek. So I think that's kind of interesting. And I th the reason uh, it's giving me some extra motivation to do it is I'm thinking... Which has been a side thing. I've always been wondering, would I, could I have um, got uh, this type of narrative uh, joy or jingles or whatever you want to call it? How much fun I'm getting out of? Because remember, Dervel Krieg is the, okay, the major tool, but it's not the end all be all of what I'm doing. And uh, 
but boy, oh boy, it's a significant per, you know uh, chunk of it. It wasn't the gateway into World War One and wanting to get into that. I would say that was the world undone, uh, East Prussia. That solidified me going into wow. I really like Tannen. Uh, I like World War One. I, I like this. Uh, I'm intrigued by the Battle of Tannenberg, and then I was like, oh my gosh, there's lots of games out on it. And then and then Der Velk and then the monster game, uh, Tickle, and then. Um, Der Valkrieg just blew my brains out, basically. And, you know, like I said, just allowed me to do also, uh, just go off into creative wonderland. Okay, hold on. Well, almost hold on. Well, it is. But so I want to know, would this game, if I play this game out, would it, will it give me some kind of uh, narrative feel for that uh, Eastern Front in World War One? I'm really interested to find out. And then this is a, well, it's kind of like my holy grail of, Will you ever get to play this? Because it scares, well, I'm not scared of the living dickens out of me, but it's almost like uh, reading um, a PhD text or something. It's just like, woof. Yeah, I think I've mentioned this one a, a, a bazillion times, but I'd like to play this one as well and see. Um, yeah, and supposedly the complexity is like right through the roof. And you want to talk about uh, uh, an excellent chance of me getting rail wrong on this game. <laughs> That'd be pretty good because there's like a bazillion different versions of it or something. But look at one of the stuff I picked up at Can Games. And this kind of intrigues me, but I'm not really sure if I like that scale. We'll see. So this is this No Man's Land Trench Warfare 1914 to 1918. I'm not going to, whatever. I'm just showing you. And the reason why I find it really intriguing, I'm not a big fan of the counters. Uh, well, they're great. They're looking, they look nice and blah, blah, blah. Um, but the con there's just not enough contrast as far as I'm concerned. And then you add it on with a map. Holy moly. As far as I'm concerned, maybe it's just me. I'm not, I I'm still want to play it is what I'm, I'm not, uh, let's say I'm not, I don't want to play it. But I just, that's, that's just a quibble or whatever a gripe or whatever but it wouldn't, it's not like a game breaker but look at this this is what really got me interested i was like ooh, um it said well right off the bat uh, that's it said uh um it was about the evolution of trench warfare and then i went on to the scenarios at the very back here looks quite nice i guess i'm not doing a whatever I, I like the presentation and i love the way they used um the spiral thing like it's an actual gutter and it's you know it's like wow that's well done um it's here's the scenarios so it really does go through the you know whatever uh i just think that's really interesting um well yeah it's intriguing for me that's when i so i'd like to look in, uh, look further into it it looks like it were uh, they did a really nice job at the presentation whether or not the game's good i don't know the only other one that I do find uh, at the moment I do find rather intriguing is this, uh, the Soldiers game uh, from Decision uh, SPI. And all, um, yeah, I didn't know, know what it was the last time, but uh, this looks rather interesting. We uh, interesting way of doing. It. Also, I found the way the um, look at the way it's folded. That's fascinating. Um, I wouldn't mind taking a look at it. I don't know if uh, I don't I don't know if I'd like the scale, uh, whatever. But uh, ill sixty, ooh, cool. Um, and then some of this counters look kind of nice. If you can see, like I said, I'm just doing a, doing a quickie thing. So that's it. I just uh, uh, how would you call it? My del delusional wish list of uh, what I would like to do. Well, some things for sure are going to be done, but uh, you know. Um, like this is netherworld stuff and this is, um, you know, welcome to fantasy island stuff that ain't, uh, <laughs> not for a while anyways. Okay. Hope you're having a great time. Bye. Come on. Hit stop. You're going to stop. Stop.